let's start with the, the, the China issues. I think David, the anchor, was just talking about uh, how the EU maybe does not want to necessarily get drawn into uh, the conflict that is sort of brewing behind the scenes uh, between China and the United States. Janet Yellen yesterday, the Treasury Secretary, addressed these issues. How much if I want to call it pressure, is the U.S. exerting on its fellow G7 members behind the scenes to come, come on board with exerting essentially more pressure on China because of what is being alleged is economic coercion? Well, I don't think it's a, so much a, a pressure coming from U.S. I think it's a lesson learned by, by the European Union. Um, lesson learned on the fact that uh, we can't uh, be too much dependent from uh, foreign powers uh, in our economy. This is also something that came very clearly from the uh, Russian war in Ukraine in the energy sector. So we discovered that we were wrong uh, and we discovered that we were too dependent from uh, Russian gas. We were able to uh, I think to solve this situation, at least last winter, in a very effective way. Uh, but we have to avoid to repeat this uh, mistake in the future. So we need our autonomy. How would you define then de-risking versus decoupling? And what kind of economic shock are we talking about here? Because it seems as though there's a European shift, as you've just been alluding to. Olaf Scholz talked about, uh, you know, essentially China is viewed more now as a rival and a competitor. We have Italy signaling to the United States reportedly that they might opt out of the Belt and Road Initiative by the end of this year. It seems like these are pretty strong words and strong moves. Well, I think decoupling would be a, a very dangerous risk for the global economy. Uh, so uh, I think especially for the European Union, which is definitely an open economy based on trade, it would be a, a, a big, big danger. Uh, what we are talking about is not closing our trade uh, and our economic relation with China, what we are talking about is uh, making our supply chains more secure, and especially in some strategic sectors, so rare minerals, uh, the clean technologies of the future, we can't be too much dependent from outside and too much dependent from a single country like China. But the supply chains with China are so intertwined, it is very difficult to unwind those. Uh, well, I think you, you, you have to build your own capacity in some of these sectors. Um, this is absolutely needed, and we have to do this, for example, on rare materials working inside Europe. We have a lot of potentiality inside Europe for rare minerals, and we have to work in partnership, for example, with Africa. Partnership, not uh, going there exploiting their own resources. But at the same time, this doesn't mean that we w will not have uh, economic and trade relation with China. This would be a, a danger for the global economy. 